Today I'm going to show you how I culture lactobacillus for my natural farm. Let's get to it. To culture lactobacillus, we first have to give them some food. Lactobacillus is all around us. So what I'm doing here is just creating some rice wash water. Rice wash water is the same stuff that you gather after you make a bowl of rice, a pot of rice, however. So you can see I just added some water to my bowl of rice here. If you've ever washed rice, you know that the water becomes very milky. That milky substance is what we're going for. Once I've given it a good rinse here, I'm going to go ahead and pour this water off into a jar. Now this starch is a food for lactobacillus. However, it's a very poor food. But lactobacillus is very strong. It's a very strong bacteria. So they can survive by eating off of the starch in the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a cool, dark place for three to five days, depending on your environment, the temperature, rather. Now, I have some three-day-old rice wash water that's already fermented. What I'm going to be doing next is we take our three-day-old rice wash water. Again, it smells very, very slightly sweet, so I know it's perfect for the next stage. Just so slightly sweet. Here I have some milk. This isn't anything special. I happen to have a milk cow, so this is her skim milk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 1 to 10 or even 1 to 5 ratio of rice wash water to milk. Okay, so I've added my three day old rice wash water to my milk. I left out the material at the bottom of the jar. We don't need that. So I've added it at a 1 to 10 ratio, about, doesn't need to be exact, to my milk. Now what's happening now is the lactobacillus that infiltrated the rice wash water is now eating on some really, really good food for the lactobacillus in the milk. What's happening now is that lactobacillus is going to go to town on this milk and begin to ferment it. This is actually the first step of making cheese. We're going to let this sit at room temperature for 24 to 72 hours. I'm going to give it a breathable lid and put it in a cool, dark place. The lid is to make sure critters don't get in. And we want it to be breathable because the bacteria are actually going to work in here fermenting. So, <clears throat> I have some three-day-old lactobacillus here. Our lactic acid bacteria, that's where lab comes from, is the, the whey down here. You can see there's a beautiful separation of the curd and the whey. And we need to extract the curd so we can have just our whey solution left over. <clears throat> now an easy way to do this is to take a spatula or a knife or something like that and cut the curd, trying hard not to mix it up too much, and then we'll be able to extract it once it's in some smaller pieces. I used my spatula to cut the curd into four pieces. Now I'm just going to carefully extract them, being careful not to mix it up too much. And remember, this curd is a good cheese. And if you wanted to, you could make cheese out of this. I have pigs, and they're going to love it. My efforts to not stir this up did not go as planned. All right, I've got most of the curd out of my solution. I'm gonna send it through two more filtrations. Just got a small funnel with a little bit of a grate at the bottom. Get some of the big chunks out of here. 
I've got most of the curd out of my solution. This is what I have left over. This is the whey. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it through a very fine mesh here. This is a nut milk bag. I'm going to send it through a fine mesh just to get out all the curd I can, all the little bits and pieces. And there you have it. This is LAB, lactic acid bacteria or lactobacillus solution, ready to go. You're going to want to store your lactic acid bacteria in the refrigerator with a breathable lid and use it within the first four weeks after you make it. LAB or lactobacillus is used in natural farming as sort of a regulator, if you will, for keeping your bacterial to fungal ratios correct, depending on what crop you're growing and depending on your soil and all those types of factors that go into consideration when you're growing. Now, depending on where you are and your farm's needs, you're gonna use a different type of rice, different amounts of rice wash water, different type of milk, different amount of milk, and all of that is just fine. It depends on what you need, what climate you're in, and what you have available to you. So I really encourage you to give this a shot. I know you can do it. It's very simple, and it's highly beneficial to the farm. Thanks for watching one of the first of many videos about how we natural farm here at Kate's Natural Farm. We'll see you next time.